what is up ladies and genitals four eyes in here coming at you coming through and today i will be ranking all of the assault rifles currently in cold war season one from worst to best just a disclaimer before we start these are just my opinions and feel free to disagree with my list i think all of the guns are pretty much usable and competitive with one another that's what i like about cold war is that pretty much every gun in this game is usable it's just that the top meta guns or weapons they are just a bit better than the rest all right Starting off in our number 6 spot or last and what I think is the worst assault rifle in the game it has to be the FFAR1 or FAMAS. This gun used to be quite decent before it got its recoil nerfed. It has the fastest fire rate out of all the assault rifles so it has one of the fastest time to kills in that close to medium range but it doesn't matter how fast you can kill if you can't hit your target and that recoil nerf really did hurt this gun's potential. Even though it has the fastest fire rate out of all the assault rifles in the game making it one of the best assault rifles for close range it also has a slow sprint out time compared to the other assault rifles and it has the lowest magazine size compared to the other assault rifles and with that fast fire rate you will be going through so much ammo you also unlock this gun a lot later on in the leveling process and if you're trying to level this gun up without any attachments good luck this is probably going to be one of the worst leveling experiences you can have if you decide to do it in multiplayer i recommend you level up this gun in zombies at number five we have the krig six now this gun is a solid weapon and if you asked me if i could use any assault rifle and it didn't have any attachments this is the one that i would choose it's just a solid gun especially since it has low recoil and it has the highest amount of bullet velocity in base form compared to all the other assault rifles the gun excels in that mid to long range i wouldn't use this gun in any close quarters map especially cross crossroads it also recently got a nerf where now it takes one more bullet to kill for a headshot the reason why i ranked this gun so low is the gun specializes in the mid to long range and the higher ranked assault rifles are more complete packages also the krig 6 gets a different set of attachments compared to the other assault rifles when you get to the higher weapon levels the other assault rifles have access to better attachments in our fourth spot is the qbz this gun is just a awesome gun i actually really like this weapon it is so versatile it has low recoil a great set of attachments and it has the faster handling which is in between a regular assault rifle and the smg it is just an amazing gun it really doesn't have any weaknesses it's just that the other guns i ranked ahead of it pretty much out dps it and they have a faster ttk and if you can get the most out of the higher ranked guns you will see the difference but the qbz is a solid gun it is a extremely competitive weapon and is one of the more complete assault rifles where it really doesn't struggle in any area but it also doesn't wow you or excel in a specific area it's pretty much a jack of all trades but master at none in our third spot is the groza now this gun could be ranked at fourth or second depending on how good you are your play style and what map you use it on initially i thought this gun was clearly the second best assault rifle but with more play time it really depends on your skill level and what map you are on the groza is pretty much the qbz but with the second fastest fire rate in the assault rifle class behind the ffa r1 or famas so it kills faster than the qbz but it actually has recoil comparable to the famas so if you are trying to beam someone in that medium to long range it is a a lot harder compared to the qbz and the other assault rifles that's why you could rank the qbz above the groza but in terms of its potential and when you get the most out of the gun the groza just beats out the qbz the groza is a beast in that close to medium range use it in those areas and you can even beat out some smgs up close next in our second spot is the xm4 you could switch it with the groza but again the recoil in the groza can be really hard to control and it doesn't matter how fast the gun kills if if you can't hit your target the xm4 is extremely versatile it really doesn't have any weaknesses except the number one gun just kills faster in the close ranges but the xm4 kills faster in the medium to long ranges this gun is a straight up laser it really is an underrated weapon i'm actually seeing a lot more professional players using it in the pro league settings 
You also unlock this gun straight away. I will say that recoil can be a little tricky, but once you get more attachments and get used to it, you will definitely reap the rewards. This gun is basically like a better QBZ in almost every single way, but it does have the slower handling speeds of a regular assault rifle, and the iron sights can be a little lackluster. Finally, in our number one spot, and it should be no surprise, it is the AK-47. The gun is so good that it is actually banned in professional play in the European region, and there was backlash telling the pro players that the gun didn't need to be banned and that they should just shut up and play since everyone will be using it anyway. The gun is just a beast everywhere. It kills the fastest in close range compared to all the other assault rifles and it has low and easy to control recoil for longer range gunfights. You can also equip some of the best attachments and there is just too much versatility in this gun to pass up. The only weakness this gun really has is it has the slowest bullet velocity but it has the attachments to boost it so it's really not a big deal that is pretty much how i would rank the assault rifles i would give you guys my best class setup but they're all pretty much the same i use a suppressor a barrel that increases the range and bullet velocity depending on how fast the gun reloads in base form i will equip the regular extended mags a foregrip and the last stock that increases sprint out time and aim walking speed sometimes i will equip the elastic wrap to increase my ads time depending on how slow the assault rifles ADS is or I will take off the suppressor and I will add a optic sight. So do you agree with my list? Comment below and I will try my best to reply to as many of you. If you enjoyed the video and only if you enjoyed you could help me out by liking and subscribing to my channel with post notifications turned on. Other than that namaste my friends and I will talk to you in the next video.